We are here today to honor the symbol of our country and retire a flag which has served its useful life as a symbol of freedom and our country. This is the flag speaking. I am your flag. I was born on June 14, 1777. I am more than just a piece of cloth shaped into a colorful design. I am the silent sentinel of freedom for the greatest sovereign nation on earth. I am the inspiration for which American patriots gave their lives and fortunes. I am the emblem of America. I have led your sons into battle from Valley Forge to Vietnam. I have been there through the Civil War, two World Wars. I was at Gettysburg, Flanders, Korea, the Gulf War, all of them. I was there with George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, and I am here with you now. I have flown through peace and through war, through strife and prosperity, and amidst it all, I have always been respected. My red stripes symbolize the blood spilled in defense of this glorious nation. My white stripes, the burning tears shed by Americans who lost their sons in battle. My blue field represents God's heaven under which I fly, and my stars clustered together unify the 50 states as one for God and country. I am old glory, and I proudly wave on high. Honor me, respect me, and defend me with your lives. Never let our enemies tear me down from my lofty position lest I never return. Keep alight the fires of patriotism, strive earnestly for the spirit of democracy, and keep me always as a symbol of freedom, liberty, and peace in our country. When comes the time when I am old and faded and do not, do not let me fly in despair, rather retire me from my duties, only to replace me with a new flag so that I may be continuing to symbolize our country. With this, renew your commitment to what I stand for and pledge your allegiance to me one final time. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. A flag ceases to be a flag when it is cut into pieces. We will cut the flag into four pieces. The red and white stripes, the red and white striped banners, and the blue star field. We will leave the blue field intact because no one should ever let the union be broken. Hi, Bridget. So for those of you who may not be able to see, we're actually cutting the flag, which is the proper way to dispose of it. This banner of our country has completed its service. May we remain dedicated to all that our flag stands for. May we always respect and honor our nation and their flag. So the star section, no, no, no. Place the striped sections on the fire first. memorable flags retirement ceremonies I was a part of was the last Michigan International Camp Marine. We had several flags to dispose of to retire and we were able to do it with our friends from Cumbria and the other troop from Illinois. That was pretty impressive.
please stand at attention while we burn the, the, uh, the field of glory. And two. I know that uh, not all of you are scouts. We have the, the girls and some trail lifers that joined us later in our history, so not all of you would know Vespers, as the scouts have always sung them. But I know there's enough of us who can carry the two, uh, and it is always, uh, to me, uh, an appropriate way to come to the end of a, a gathering like this or a night of camping or a ceremony of this nature. So. Uh, Softly falls the light of day as our campfire fades away. Silently, scout should ask, Have I done my daily task? Have I kept my honored right? Can I guilt with sleep tonight? Have I done and have I dared?